I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So no, he's not in the building? I I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm a you hit me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture. Now then. Now I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Denver, Colorado, inside a T-Mobile store where an idiot, a bloody idiot, has a punch-up with one of the customers and one of the associates that works there. Now, what makes it so bad is the police arrived to help him, but he apparently didn't want the police help. He didn't want their help at all. By the way, many thanks to the viewer who sent me this idiot's channel. I'll be keeping a close eye on him from now on because he looks like a complete and bloody moron to me. No doubt about that. In the meantime, <laughs> enjoy! Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, where are you going? That man attacked me. Hey, where that man at? That loud man right there attacked me. Hey, that loud man attacked me. He gave away right there. That's the attacker right there. That's the attacker. Yeah, they ain't gonna wanna get him though, are they? They gonna wanna get the law body. I have absolutely no idea what's going on here, but from what I can gather, this guy doing the ranting and raving had some kind of discrepancy inside the store with a guy who's already left the store and with one of the employees inside. Now, he's not smart enough to leave the scene and just leave everything alone. He wants to push the issue because, of course, he has rights. Now, if he were really assaulted, the police would be doing something. But as we're going to see in this short video clip, the police do nothing. Well, that's not true. They do something. They arrest him. Yeah, man. I just went in here and I was pushed down on the ground and attacked. And the uh, employee over there, that black dude right there with the beard, he threatened. He pushed me down on the ground and was threatening me while I was down on the ground and yeah, I can't help myself. I'm disabled. I think my jaw's broken. You know? Trust me, sweetheart. If you had a broken jaw, you wouldn't be standing there flapping your gums in the breeze. You'd be in severe pain. Oh, man. Yeah, you might have something else that's broken, though. Perhaps a broken brain? Oh, I know a frauditor like that. Well, yeah, not having a broken brain is no fun at all. But it sounds like you have one, frauditor. I did nothing wrong. Well, I may, may have done something wrong. I didn't do anything to deserve this mother. Uh, they broke my tripod. I can't use my other tripod. I'm using my backup stand. <coughs> Hi. How's it going? Goes to you. Yeah, Birkin. Hey, you want to know my name or are you going to use him as an intermediary? 
Now, this idiot claims he was assaulted, and I would think that he would want to cooperate with the police. And, however, he seems to want to hurl insults at the police using profanity. That's never a good idea on any day of the week, but especially now because you've caused a disturbance inside the retail store. Sonny boy, you just don't know what you're in for. If you think your jaw hurts, wait just a while. Your wrists are going to hurt. And everything else, too, when you get down to the city jail. Ha, Bubba and the boys will be glad to see you, sweetheart. Pretty intimidating. Are you done? Good. Yeah, whatever. Are you in charge? Yes. I want the fuck I need before we meet Right now. Get your cards out. I want a business card. You're asking me questions, Bergen. You're threatening me. You make me feel scared for my fucking life. Give me your card. You make me feel scared for my life. I want your card. What question? Come here then. Duran. We have Duran and Birkin with so you. Tell us why we're here. B U R K I N. No. Right. Hey, tell us what's going on. Why are we here? I need your brain. Do they take your brains out? Watching this video for the first time, I was wondering, is this all for clicks and views? Is this an act? Or can this idiot really be this stupid? Well, I've come to the conclusion that it's a little bit of both, but he really is this stupid. Why would you advance on a police officer and why would you demand a business card asking if you have no brains? Reminds me of another frauditor. Stupid sidewalk boy out there in Los Angeles, California. He is, he's got to have the biggest collection of police business cards in the world. He really does. Every single police officer he runs into, he wants the business card. You work for me. Yeah, right. Whatever, man. Now let's carry on with the story and watch this idiot get arrested. In the academy? Are you done? That's what it is. They take their brains out in the academy, people. They take their brains out and they put dog brains in there. Yeah, so I was assaulted here tonight. And I want to file. Yeah, I That's not true. That's not true at all. When did you speak to me for two minutes or a minute to know that? You're not even speaking to us. You're yelling at us and you're confusing all the audience is screaming. You want to Give me, me your ID now! You're not in charge. We're not talking to you. I'll catch you later. No. Yeah, I... For anyone who's ever watched my videos, what do I always say about frauditors who attempt to predict the future? It's not a good idea. It never works out. Stick to your day job. Frauditing, that is. You're no good at that either. But at least you know what you're doing when it comes to frauditing. You have no idea what it comes to when you're trying to predict the future. Let me look in my crystal ball. I predict this idiot will be arrested in the next 60 seconds. Let's take a look at that, shall we? You're still not going to laugh. Walk over here. I'm going to walk over here. Don't touch me, mother. Don't touch me. Come up on me. That's right. I'm going to walk wherever. I'm going to run the motherfucker. Ooh, we. That's going to hurt when you hit that sidewalk, sonny boy. Of course, you have that backpack on. It might cushion the blow a little bit. Plus, you said your jaw was broken. So if your jaw was really broken, he wouldn't be doing all that yammering. But maybe the pain from your jaw will take the pain away from your hips and your back and possibly your head. Well, I think we just found out what the true meaning of police power is. Woo-wee! That guy just punched him. Well, he didn't really punch him. He just kind of shoved him in the chest area, and he went flying. That's what happens when you try to be a smart aleck around the police. They were there to help you. All they wanted to know was your name. You wouldn't give them your name. Matter of fact, you demanded their names. So I think this was all staged. 
But let's pick it up again and watch this idiot handcuffed. Oh, it's quite lovely indeed. Back off! You know what? Back off! You know they just assaulted a disabled person. Ow! Why are you doing this, Moran? Stop! Keep on coming at us with your arms up, dude. You're done. I never heard no harm to you, bro. No, you just want to act like a bitch. Come at me like that? No. You're done. They're arresting me, guys, in Denver for nothing. I want a supervisor right now. Yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. Stupid is as stupid does. Why would you act like that around the police? Well, the only reason I can think of is for clicks and views on his pitiful YouTube channel, because if you look at his YouTube channel, he's not doing all that well, so maybe he's trying to bring up the subs and the views. I have no idea. Uh, but at any rate, uh, this, this guy, something is really wrong with him. Uh, I think he got a little bit over 1,200 views out of this the last time I looked at the channel. So, man, uh, an arrest is never good. Uh, it's just going to go on your record and further hamper you from doing things in life. You know, it affects your credit report. You can't get a job. Well, maybe he doesn't care about those things. Who knows? Him and his 4,200 subscribers. I don't know, man. But at any rate, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. So many. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Racist. Oh, you're a racist Nazi dog. that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call, call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You go to jail, bro. Go ahead. Put Stop your hands on me. me, bro. Put your hands on me. Bro, no I'm reason really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. We're gonna arrest you for trespassing yeah. in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You, you just permit? assaulted me, man. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salami hala hamdula, alu akbar, haknuika na kra, ula wala fufatai. Greetings, Dr. Dave here. There was a great deal of confusion when I posted yesterday about my members only section. I will never charge to watch content on my channel ever. Let me repeat that. There will never be a charge to watch any videos on my channel. The members only section I was referring to is strictly for live streams. It's optional. You will never pay one single penny to watch anything on my videos or live streams. It's completely optional. If you would like to join the channel, it's up to you, but it will never cost a penny to watch anything on my channel ever. Now, let me get on with the public service announcement. Hello everyone, Dr. Dave here. Due to high demand and interest, Dr. Dave has decided to create a members only area for all his subscribers. Several badges and emojis are currently present. I'd like your feedback. What kind of badges and emojis would you like to see? And uh, right now, there's only one level you can join at. Let me know what other levels you'd be interested in. I really don't want to charge people extra money for an early view of a video. I believe that everyone should see the videos when they become available. But if you're really interested in something that I can provide, let me know and I will look into it. But for now, <laughs> enjoy!